Hey y'all, welcome to another episode here on Restoration. Yeah, we're back playing with this 63 and a half Ford Falcon. Daddy just made me some grits and burnt the top of the biscuits, but all we had to do is cut it off. So we're fed up and we're ready to uh, ready to work on this old rig. So we're gonna see, I know there's been a lot of things said of what uh, could be the issue. We're gonna investigate all of those. I think some we've already figured out. And uh, we're going to see if we can make this old motor run and run right for a little while. So in this episode, will this 390 run like it's supposed to? Will it run like a scalded dog or will it squirt you like a feral cat? We're going to find out in just a minute. <laughs> so let me let you in on a secret of YouTube. When you hit that subscribe button, it is absolutely free to you, but it immensely blesses me. All right, y'all, me and Puddin uh, made an entry. So for Big Al, Big Al, Puddin's back on the road. I got a whole hanger bearing on the drive shaft carrier bearing had uh, been acting up on it. So I had to cut it off and uh, beat another one on. And boy, old Puddin's running like a brand new automobile. So uh, we're happy to be in Puddin. And uh, y'all, here's the old man. Uh, that sun just beaming down on him. And uh, we're gonna work on this old rig here. So, Daddy, you wanna you wanna open the hood and see what it looks like in there? Hello. Now we've got a lot of things that we have uh, that we have done to the old engine. The old man has figured a few things out, and we'll get to that. Oh, going to hit your head again. Yes. We'll uh, we'll get a few of those things figured out that we want to uh, point out to you in just a minute. Um, but if y'all remember, we're going to show you some footage. If this is your first time watching any of these episodes, I'm a full-time pastor. Uh, I go by Rev here on YouTube. That's where the name comes from, Revstoration. This is my daddy. I call him the old man. It's a term of endearment. It is not, uh, if he ever told me one time he didn't want to be called the old man, I wouldn't ever do it again. Uh, he hadn't, so I'm still going to call him old man like I always have. So we like working on old Ford. So if you've not seen the last episode, we'd encourage you maybe now. No, wait, watch this one, then go back and watch the other episode. We'll put a little I-card up here towards the end of the video. Um, but one of the things that we did this last time is we had a lot of issues. Let's see, we had an issue with, uh, had an issue with this rascal right here. Uh, degree. Yeah, that's right. What was it, Daddy? 180 degrees off. Yeah, the fellow that rebuilt, uh, rebuilt, rebuilt uh, this motor uh, installed the distributor 180 degrees off. So it took us a little while to figure that one out. Uh, but we did. Uh, we did get that figured out. And when we got that figured out, she fired right off. But when she fired off one time, she blew. She blew right here. She blew this completely out and it squirted oil all over us. All over the ground in front of us. All over the ground out here. <laughs> so grid. we're going to show you that footage right. That ain't going to work. We blew our oil filter. We didn't blow an oil filter. It yeah, we did. Hole, no, man. it wasn't. It blew the oil filter. The oil filter probably. <laughs> All right, so you saw that. Now that was fun. I mean, that was enjoyable. That was just wonderful. And uh, so then we tightened it back up and doggone if it didn't fire it up, old man. All right, that, that, uh, that oil filter's gone. That did it again. Uh, but we're happy to uh, be back here. I think we've got a few things figured out. Had an issue with number one cylinder, uh, not firing like it should. So we'll explain to you in just a second what's going on there. And we're going to hope to get this old engine running like it's supposed to. But we want to give you a hint of what we truly believe has caused all of our issues. Nothing we could have done except do what we did to figure it out unless we were just going to completely rebuild the motor. Uh, and just take the motor apart and not even try to crank it. Um, if you remember earlier in the last video, um, I got down, had my, uh, got, got on the, um, the harmonic balancer, got down on the crank and actually was turning the motor over, made, um, probably four turns on that all the way around smooth, no tight spots, nothing. Normally if there's a tight spot, we know there's a valve issue or there's a rough spot on the cylinder wall, 
uh, you know, it gives us the idea that there was an issue. We didn't have that. Uh, so put the battery on, cranked it up, and then started developing all of these issues. Um, I'm going to show you something in, on the outside of the engine. And uh, don't cheat. Just go on and put a comment down below what you think this has to do with our issues that we had last week. So come on down here with me. Y'all know what that is? Look, let me let me make sure I'm showing it. Y'all know what, what that is and, and what that that is? That... Let's see. Let's find another one. Oh, yeah. One of them and them and them. Um, every hole in it. <laughs> every hole in the engine on the outside uh, of the engine had that. Um, and the fuel pump was not in it. it so the old, man is, telling, got the old the man is telling the story. <laughs> we did not have our fuel pump installed. The motor uh, we bought, Daddy bought this a uh, year and a half ago, he said. I think it was longer ago than that. You say a year and a half. A year and a half, we were in COVID. Uh, COVID's been going on about a year and a half ago. It was, It may have been longer than that. may have been two, two and a half years ago. But this engine had these dirt dauber, uh, had clogged up all of, brought this dirt in and clogged up all of the bolt holes on the outside of the engine. Uh, but we also had the fuel pump off, which gave those sorry rascal dirt daubers opportunity to get inside of the engine so when we turned it over i'm thinking on the front side of this engine maybe on the timing uh chain in that area or maybe even further inside of the engine dirt daubers had gotten in there and when we turned this engine over it knocked all that dirt off down inside of the crank so so we got grit in the oil so that grit has either filled up our old filter which we're going to investigate or it has clogged our pressure relief valve so maybe this tells you has something to do with it uh you may or may not can tell this valve is a lot lower than this valve and all the others and all the yeah and all the others and of course much? we got the you know we, we've got the rocker shaft or the rocker arms on it has been removed um, and maybe one of these will tell you something. Hold it, and I'm gonna go in reverse. Reverse too far. It's going back down. All right, it's coming back up like it's supposed to. That thing could have been, you know, as long as that motor sat there, it could have been for some reason stuck on the bottom. 40 to 45 foot pounds of torque. Start here. One, two, three, four, and then go back through. One, two, three, four. Ooh, I'd already had it at 40. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Just to prove we're putting in good oil. That's that Quaker State oil. We done blew one Quaker State filter. Old man's wanting to put Quaker State back in it. <laughs> it's got a motorcraft filter on it now. Did it, old man, did you hear the joke about that, uh, Ford 63, uh, 63390. Uh -oh. I'm still working on it. <laughs> <sighs> I'm sorry, y'all. Hey, old man. Hey. You know what, uh, what kind of shoe is made out of a banana? Banana shoe? Banana shoe? A slipper. A slipper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this shoe made out of a banana is called a slipper. Oh, slipper. I like that. I don't know if y'all like that or not. All right, what we're going to do is uh, old man's going to try to check compression. Show him your compression checker. Uh, the old compression checker. Uh, we're just going to turn the motor over. We've got no coil wire. We're not going to put fire to it. We're just going to engage the starter. Mm -hmm. We have rotated the engine so. We know nothing's hung, so it should roll over. We're gonna, we're gonna watch that number. All right, we're gonna watch the valve spring. Uh, we're gonna watch that. <laughs> <It's got laughs> I didn't have it all the way on there, but that scared me. It's got compression. That scared Let's me. Let's let it roll over a few man, times. Oh man, went home. <laughs> All right, we're going to check compression. All right, you got, got it? I Release. got it this time. You ain't even have it all the way on there. 
Oh, I didn't have it released. Okay, Put now it on there. All right, you ready? Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah! Look at that compression, y'all. If it has a hundred pounds of pressure, we know the the cylinder wall, or we know the piston head is not busted. Not busted, yeah. But y'all, we want to thank uh, Eugene Backyard Repair. Um, Eugene sent me a couple of these. This is a little uh, little thing for gas. Everybody's been telling me. Why don't you just put gas in on the carburetor? Why don't you just put it in through the vent tube? And I always say, I ain't got no, no nothing to squirt it real uh, narrow, but that is. But he sent me these, and uh, Eugene, we want to thank you so very much. He said, uh, no more Mountain Dew bottles. And I just couldn't, I couldn't <laughs> deal with that. So show them what we did. Uh, so we got the other one, and I got an old Mountain Dew. Uh, so we got Mountain Dew taped on there. I don't want my sponsorship for Mountain Dew to fall <laughs> through the wayside. So uh, we're going to see Is if she'll fire up Eugene now. Eugene Backyard. Eugene Backyard Repair. So oh, okay. thank you, Eugene. Uh, we appreciate you a bunch. All right, we got a little oil. I, I think we got a little oil that's giving it a little sheen. But is it going to blow this off? We've got everything ready to go. Um, we got to get that powered up. Where's our screwdriver? Go? Oh, you got it. I got to get another screwdriver. Why? So oh, two. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can crank it with our screwdriver. You got to have our master key. Well, the little red and black one. Yep. You can use that one because it's bigger, and I'll use that one because it's smaller. Hit my head again because that's what I want to do. Now, you going to put gas in it for it? All right. Hold on. Hold on. All right, hit it, old man. Let's see if she'll fire up. Now if she may squirt oil again. If she does, then we're gonna we're gonna have to make another decision. See oh. if we got fire to it. I don't know if that's... Keep going. You hit that ignition, we'll see if it's got fire. Well, this valve's working good on here. <laughs> uh she cranked up. She didn't blow the oil yet, but we ain't revved it up and ain't let it run long. Uh, she ran good though. All right, uh, let's see if we can get it, let's, uh, get it going. You ready? Yeah, go. Just pumping oil out of that. Oh, no, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Done did it again. It blowed up. Out the back. All right, y'all, we, uh, we have a stuck uh, oil pump is stuck, no doubt. That gum that motor runs good. How's where the oil pump stick? There's a oil pressure relief valve that's got to be sticking. All right, y'all, look at the uh, look what it did to the oil pump. I mean, oil, oil filter. It blew it apart. I mean, it blew that rascal apart. Well, hey, I've got oil all over everything, so we have uh, taken that off. Look down. There's the oil pump. Uh, that's the old pump right there. So we're thinking if we can drain the oil and jack the motor up, put two befores over here, we can drop it down and get the oil pump off. The oil pump is right there. That's what I said. And the pickup is over here. The pickup's right here. So it's just a bolt there and a bolt there. If we can drop the pan down enough and loosen loosen these two the old man shining that light and that oil is just glistening look at that that's a neat looking filter and uh get the old man to get these two nuts loose here we would just drop the pump down in the pan and then slide the whole pan out because the only issue with the pan sliding off now is the oil pump in the pickup so uh you want, you want to try that old man that ain't doing nothing sitting there all right y'all we don't know where we left you um we took the time and chain cover off we can see the pump we played around with a little bit of pressure we're going to get two befores we're going to jack the engine up and we're going to put two befores uh around the uh motor mounts get the engine as high as we can i'm going to drop the oil pan and see if we can get the oil pan and the oil pump off and we're gonna go from there. Hopefully we can just put a new oil pump on it and it'll work. Old man doesn't have too much confidence. Uh, he's thinking it's stuck somewhere in the galley. I'm thinking it's building so much pressure, it's blowing it before it gets into the oil galley uh, because so much pressure is blowing everything at the, at the, uh, at the filter. 
is blowing the filter off. So we know high pressure is going from the pump to the filter, no doubt. So it's not releasing at all there. We are uh, now gonna take the oil pan off and drop the oil pan down. As I drop the oil pan down, I'm gonna hope to be able to get in between here to um, loosen up the uh, oil pump. So the oil pump will go in the pan and then maybe I can MacGyver it out. I don't hold much faith, but we're gonna give it a shot. Y'all, this is not the conventional way of how you take the uh, oil pump off, uh, but I'm going to take the two bolts out of the oil pump, and uh, I'm trying to see where the shaft goes, probably goes into the top of the oil oh, pump you there. you take the distributor out. No? Right so, uh, we'll it'll leave it. It'll come out with it. No, it'll come out with a pump. So, we're going to take, uh, we're going to take these two bolts off that's here, and hopefully the oil pan will drop, and I can just pull it out this way. That's a good thing about taking the front end of the motor off. We can go on and do that now. All right, y'all, without delving too deep, this is the uh, pickup. This is the oil pump. I'll be honest with you. The oil pump does not look bad, but look, time out, old man. You know what those are? Now, now this came right out of the, uh, hold on. This came right out of the motor. And y'all know what those are? Those are spider legs. Those are dirt, that's what dirt daubers eat. Or maybe a dirt, I don't know, that's a bug, right? That's a roach right there, look at there. <laughs> we got a roached out engine, old man. So they're going through that hole. <laughs> they went the through the hole. Where the fuel pump goes. Look at, look, look, hold it tight. Don't let it move, don't let it move now. <laughs> that's a rebuilt motor, y'all, I'm just gonna let you know. Look at that rebuilt motor. <laughs> <laughs> Kiss my grips. <laughs> you got a rebuilt motor, old man. They rebuilt it so good they put dirt down in the oil. I didn't want to, uh, I don't want to upset the old man. Um, but, uh, I don't think it's going to come all the way out. But, uh, I don't know. We're going to finagle it in there. But, uh, my hat's down there. I don't want to get none of this on my hat. <laughs> Look at there, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. We're going to clean that out. It's grease. It's like, look at that. It's like, it's like blue grease. Is that oil? What is that, dude? Oh, don't get that. Uh, is that it, ain't grit. It ain't grit. It's all, I mean, it's just sludged oil, I guess. <laughs> look at that, y'all. That's like playing in putty. All right, Ray, what in the world do you use to rebuild your carburetors? Well, thank you for asking. Here, of course, is the carburetor off this car. I got full faith that that oil pump is going to fix our oil spewing issue. And uh, so I'm going to rebuild this old carburetor. I've just got an old Walker kit right over there. This is some carburetor uh, air intake cleaner, Super Tech. I get this from Walmart. And uh, got those tools right there, pretty much all I'm going to need. I might go get some needle nose pliers. Of course, I'm gonna take it all the way back apart, put everything in it that needs to be in it, and uh, it, it'll be a rebuilt carburetor. Now, I say all that uh, because a lot of you are saying, hey, you gotta dip that carburetor. You don't know all those jets. I can promise you, I have rebuilt these carburetors up one side and down the other. I know where every hole is. I know where every jet goes. So guess what? If this stuff can go through it, it's clean. And uh, now, yeah, the outside, there's different things I did to clean the outside of the carburetors. Uh, of course, you know, make them shine, put zinc plating on it. I've done all of that. So I know how to, to restore a carburetor. We're not restoring this carburetor. We're rebuilding it for the purpose of making it run better. So uh, that's all we're doing. And I got an old sheet of, uh, that's not even wood. I don't even know what that is. Old sheet, something old man had sitting on back of the car and we're going to rebuild this old rascal right now all right even when i'm doing a uh, uh you know a tailgate rebuild i always turn it over after i've cleaned it out cleaned all the ports i always start from the bottom and work my way back to the top when i get the top of the carburetor on it's ready to be installed so i'll start here this is the power valve this power valve of course is shot um all of the all of these parts that's in the new kit is really what's going to make the carburetor run right. Not, 
I mean, I've cleaned everything out, but this is going to make it run like it's supposed to. So I'm going to install everything and then we'll put it back together. The outside probably won't look much different than it did whenever we uh, originally took it off the, the car. It'll run better though, like a scalded dog. All right, to some, that may not look like much, but boy, that is a rebuilt carburetor that's going to run perfectly. Of course, I got my gasket right over there. Uh, I'm going to wait to uh, to put it on, uh, fill it up with gas, set it on the carburetor. I'll put the top on while it is on the engine. And uh, whenever we get the oil pump installed and get all that put back together, we're going to crank her up and she's going to purr like a kitten. Promise. I guarantee, like Justin Wilson. All right, the carburetor is installed. I want to make sure that it's getting two squirts here is what I always do when I'm installing them on a car. Then I'll put the top on, let's watch. See the two squirts right through here? One, two, two squirts, all right. Uh, put the carburetor top on, she should run like a, what did I say? Shouldn't look, run like me when Nikki T gets after me. All right, y'all, there she is. Doesn't look much different than it did before. All right, the new oil pump is installed. It took me and the old man's fingers to make it happen, so we still like each other right now. But a few minutes ago, it was ugly. Uh, but teamwork has uh, got to pump in. All right, y'all, me and the old man was talking and wanted to, uh, hadn't been filming a lot because I've been up on the car and doing a lot of things. We just got the oil pan back on it, which is good. Uh, me and the old man was talking that we didn't want y'all to think that all we did is just start cars. We can work on them. Uh, so uh, we know a little bit more than just fire and spark and fuel. So we know a little bit more than that. So uh, we're going to finish this, and uh, hopefully you'll get to hear her purr before this night is over. Old man was bound and determined he was going to put some bolts in. We want to show you all how we do it here at Restoration. Them boards gave us the opportunity to jack this rascal up and actually get the oil pan off enough to get the oil pump out. There's no telling how much it would have cost to have that engine pulled. We jacked it up with some doggone scrap wood. It's all right, old man. You hold Can you hold you that? Jack it? I'll you jack me, it up. Want me to show me pulling the things out? Or whatever you want to show. Don't get your hand caught. Oh, wait a minute. Just hold it right there. Board loose. No more. Hold it, hold it. All right, that side's out. This side is out. Right, uh, can you line it up from down there or what? Line it up, I'm gonna drop her down and put bolts in it. I know, but the, uh, is the bolts lined up in the hole? They should be. All right, ease it down. Oh, it's going, it went back on, whoa, that went. Looked like it hit good. Oh, it looked like it wanted to go on that, didn't it, old man? Yeah, it looked like it went right back in that slot. I'm all out, I ain't even got no dad jokes. <laughs> Your dad ain't worth a flip today. <laughs> Your old man ain't worth a flip today. Right. I've been a I've been a gopher in today. He did let me put four bolts in, and then he fussed because it took me an hour to put them in. No, it didn't take that long. But <laughs> look at him laughing. Oh, it took a little while. But look at him. He's getting under there. <sighs> Do you need the light to see here? No, sir. All right, me and the old man. The old man was here for. Uh, support and money uh he gave me some money or used his money to buy all the parts for it but we have put a new a new oil pump in it we have uh cleaned the oil pan out we have rebuilt the carburetor and put gas in the carburetor um we have turned it over enough to sort of where to pump it and dry so we should just be able to turn it over and it should run you agree old man I sure hope so. I sure hope so too. So uh, let's do this here. You take that here. You get this and go it over there. And uh, I was going to turn it over a little bit before. Turn it dry. Uh, well, it's either mm -hmm. way. Turn it. Turn it. Hot. Crank it. Crank her up. We're gonna use our Mountain Dew bottle. Thank you once again, Eugene. Oh, 
Carburetor's rebuilt. She should fire right off, old man. comes up in this area one two every one of those is oiling on that side this side is oiling 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 all the way through daddy <laughs> hey hey did it did it run yeah run sleeves whistles <laughs> i told y'all scalded dog <laughs> See what she'll do. Engine idle down. Fuel pump ain't pumping. All the valves are working. Got a little planter right there. Oh, uh -oh we must be out of gas or it didn't want to rig. You want to crank it? Hit it. Alright, hit it again. I don't know what in the world. They be out of gas. Yeah, the pump's dry. Yep, the pump's dry out of gas. Oh, yeah. Go, Look squirt. it's supposed to i think we can put things back on it back in it and uh put the valve covers back on it the old man's still inspecting need to get a fuel pump uh need to get the water pump put on it get a few fans put on it and uh, uh after that i think this baby is ready to rumble so once again to eugene uh backyard repair thank you very much for uh the mountain dew bottle squirter <laughs> so uh we're gonna make sure uh, we use that on the videos. We appreciate all of y'all for watching. If you're not subbed to the channel, please do so. This may have been a long video, but it's been enjoyable for us. We got the old 390 running like it's supposed to. Anything, old man? Yeah, that's good. All right, y'all. We appreciate y'all. We love y'all. We thank you for watching. We know no way of closing out any of these videos and saying deuces. May God bless. Hey, we want to thank y'all again for watching this video. If you're not subscribed to the channel, you can do so by clicking this button down below, or you can watch a video that may be suited for you or a recent upload uh, here down below. So once again, we thank you for watching. Deuces. May God bless. <laughs>